and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So, first of all, I'm going to speak a little bit about my rings. Uh, people ask me where do I get my rings and uh, I said that uh, I get them all over the place. Some I get on eBay, I found some uh, um, nice shops that uh, sell uh, all kind of uh, special uh, jewelry that is sometimes they have discounts and even on AliExpress sometimes. So uh, I was asked about the, uh, the actual uh, uh, gemstones. So I'm not always sure exactly which one is but I know for sure that this is a carnelian and this is a citrin. And I think that this is yellow topaz, but I'm not sure. So now I'm going to speak about this uh, uh, tarot deck. This is a vintage tarot deck that I got on eBay. It is called the Jaeger Tarot. And it is also another deck that is, uh, first of all, it comes in this uh, amazing uh, wooden box. And it is also another deck that has uh, more depictions of the major arcana and less of the minor arcana. So it leaves less, uh, less uh, space for intuition, but it still is uh, very um, telling. So this, uh, and now I'm going to use the same spread that I used yesterday about Prince Charles and his brothers to check the relationship between Meghan and Doria. Because there have been all kind of rumors. Uh, I heard the rumor that uh, Doria was actually paid to uh, come and uh, participate in the wedding to show uh, her face because it was something that Megan needed and as soon as she uh, ended her uh, her uh, role she was markled like many other of her family there were rumors that she's staying with them on uh, on their mansion in Montecito and in my last video, which I will link in the end of this video about the children, I did get that Archie is surrounded by a, both Harry, Meghan and Doria. So Doria is a part of his life. So why, but that's, that doesn't mean that her uh, relationship with uh, Megan herself is good. So I'm going to check the relationship between Megan and Doria. So first, as you can see, I am shuffling the cards as much as I can to make sure that I get uh, them really shuffled. And now I'm going to clear the deck. And now let's ask, so what is the relationship between Megan and her mother, Doria? The relationship between Megan and her mother, Doria. The relationship between Megan and her mother, Doria. Okay, so let's cut the deck. Let's see, the first card is Doria. So let's see what is Doria's energy. And Doria's energy is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of planning and strategy. So this is her energy. She's there because it is a, what's a part of her plan and a, another thing that we heard about Doria is that she has opened uh, some kind of a senior citizens a, 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 some some kind of senior citizens a, a, a company or a, a, but a, if you are watching Moonchild and I do a, 
do recommend her videos. Uh, she did some kind of a deep dig into that uh, venture of Doria's, and she saw that it is a company that is re uh, written in Delaware, just like uh, all of uh, Harry and Meghan's uh, companies. And when she uh, uh, called them to see if she can register an, uh, an elderly uh, to that uh, to that program or that uh, um, whatever it is, it's a home I think for uh, elderly people. Uh, she got that there is no room, so it is like it looks like it is something that is not really functioning. So uh, everything that is Doria comes from this uh, energy of plan and strategy and her strategy was to get paid as much as she can and to get as much money as she can. There were always also rumors about some kind of a nine million dollars that suddenly were found in Doria's bank account and, uh, and there were uh, conjectures about whether it's money that uh, Megan uh, managed to uh, steal uh, from the royal family uh, by asking Prince Charles to uh, fund her uh, wardrobe, but uh, actually not paying for those uh, uh, dresses that she got. And there were a lot of uh, questions around uh, Doria and the money. And this card actually tells me that this is where she's coming from. She's coming from this a strategy and plan and this card is also speaking about being manipulating and stealing and in the right of weight uh, terror it is uh, many people see that here we only see the swords but this card uh, the psychological a meaning of the card is strategy and planning, and it doesn't mean that it has to be something that is positive. It can also be something that is negative, and which is a, talking about a, take, stealing and being manipulating. So this card tells us that this is the energy of Doria in that relationship. Now the next card is what is Megan's uh, energy in that relationship and we get death. And death card is a card that I've been getting with the Harkos quite a lot. This is a card of change. So there was a major change in Megan's uh, in Megan's attitude towards her mother, and this uh, we don't know uh, to what sort of change it is. And the next card will tell us what is the relationship itself, but. Uh, uh, it is uh, showing us that something uh, has changed very considerably because that change uh, completely nullified what was before uh, before that. Now we're looking at the energy right now. So if Megan was uh, in a good relationship with her mother, so right now, her relationship with her mother has changed considerably and she's now uh, not in a very good relationship with her. Now, this card is a card of a woman who is naked and this is very different from the uh, uh, Rider weight card of death. Be and a woman that is naked is always something that is speaking about a being naked to the world and uh, in, and you can see here that there is a rainbow behind her so uh, it looks to me that megan in a way is uh, right now uh, feeling naked in that relationship she uh, exposed herself too much and she has left behind that a rainbow that good relationship that she had with her mother and right now this is a major change she is going towards something else she doesn't want that nakedness but this is my intuition speaking this is not 
part of the uh, psychological uh, explanation of the card. The psychological explanation of the card speaks about a major change that has happened in that relationship. So the, let's see what the next card tells us about the actual relationship and we get the world. So the world card is a card of beginnings and endings. So that relationship and it goes together with the death card very well. The relationship that we saw between Megan and her mother has finished. Both cards have naked women. This is very telling because uh, uh, both cards tell us that this change has a, a, a very big connection to the world card that speaks about uh, endings, uh, completion, and ending. So the relationship as she, we saw it ended. This is not the same relationship as we saw it uh, when they were in England and afterwards that relationship has ended. And this is all because of Megan's need, first of all, to mask herself. She doesn't like that being naked in front of the world. She, she exposed herself too much. She needs to mask herself. And I, in one of my latest readings, I did a, a reading about her being an imposter and this is exactly why because she feels that she exposed too much of herself she feels naked and in that relationship it is a uh, uh, very uh, evident so uh, she f this is a card of also being a uh, burned out uh, keeping uh, keeping uh, 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 this is this can be about being together, but also about a, a growing apart. So this card is actually telling us that uh, Megan wants uh, everything to be uh, uh, to be seen as uh, perfect. Uh, the world card also speaks about perfectionism, about wanting everything to be perfect, but it is also about a, a, a major change. Both cards are speaking about a major, major change. So that relationship has changed. Okay, so next card is what is Doria's situation? And we get the devil. So, Doria is not a very good person. She, her situation is the devil. That means she is coming from darkness. She's coming from uh, the energy of no light, of someone who is neglecting. And we know that she has been a neglective mother, okay? And it is very, uh, very um, um, telling here that all these people are naked, once again, naked people. And uh, this is some a card of someone who has lost control, someone who is carried away. So she has that planning and strategy, which is probably not a very good planning and strategy, not for the good. She uh, kept thinking about what she can get out of that relationship. She's coming from the devil's energy. She's coming from the uh, the, uh, the devil uh, from the energy of someone who is uh, being neglecting, carried away. She is not a good person. And we did hear what she did about to her uh, husband. Uh, in uh, the travel agency where he uh, paid it for her and she didn't pay uh, taxes and wanted uh, and in in her uh, uh, wish to make him 
pay for that and go, go to jail, but it, she ended up going to jail. So this is her energy. Doria is not a good person. So this is her situation. Where What is Megan's situation? And we get the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is actually a good card. It is a, a card of someone who wishes to, go, to embark on a victory quest, but a, with unknown results. So it is a victory quest because it ends up with the Six of Wands, but the results are not known in advance. But when it is badly aspected, and because of the devil, it is badly aspected, it is a, a card of someone who is not satisfied with what she has. This is a card of being impatient, someone who is with over self-confident and has difficulty with dealing with new beginnings, difficulty uh, with dealing with uh, everything around her, someone who gives ultimatums to people, uh, someone who feels that she's sacrificing everything, for sacrificing uh, 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 everything in order to, to get to the cause, and neglects to enjoy the road. The Four of Wands is actually an energy of someone who needs to forget about the results of that quest and enjoy the road. But because it is badly aspected, she is neglecting that uh, what this card is calling her to do. So this is her situation, and it is also a situation of someone who has uh, has this uh, achieved this uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, the marriage that uh, she wanted, the house that she wanted. So she feels that she achieved a, a few of the things that she wants to achieve, but that's not enough for her. She wants more and that's why she's embarking on that quest but she is thinking about the results she's not uh, allowing herself to enjoy the road and that is why she keeps making mistakes so that is her situation so let's see what's doria's past and doria's past is the king of swords and the king of swords is someone who is uh, trying to be the pacifier. Uh, someone who wants everything to be, everyone around him to feel okay and to appease. And this is, I think, what Doria has been doing with Megan uh, once she learned that Megan is uh, getting married to the royal family, she tried to appease her, and that's how, uh, as part of her strategy, she uh, got to that uh, situation where she was the only one that uh, that was invited to the wedding. So she made it very. Uh, very clear to Megan that it is good for her to uh, allow uh, her to be to be the only one invited to that wedding. She tried to appease Megan after all of the neglect that she neglected her during uh, during uh, her childhood. But as I said, she comes from the devil's energy. So we're looking at the negative aspects of the King of Swords and the negative aspects of this, the, the, the King of Swords is someone who is burning bridges behind him, someone who is very rigid, someone who is, act, is um, making actions without remorse and is completely inconsiderate within others. So is not thinking about the fee that others would pay for his own actions. So that is her past. That is how she managed to convince Megan that she 
should be the only one invited to that wedding. So what is a Megan past? And Megan's past is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is a card of a, a fake, a fake, um, how do you say that? Fake um, deliberation, fake conflict. That's it. That's it. So this is someone who is a uh, faking a conflict. So Megan actually knew exactly what she was going to do, but she faked a conflict with her father. She faked a conflict with her, the rest of her family. This is someone who knows exactly what he should do in order to get forward and uh, is faking a conflict uh, as if he is uh, considering what he wants to do. And this is exactly Megan's energy in the past. This is her, where she's coming from. She's coming from uh, uh, the energy of someone who is faking conflicts with the rest of the family. And she had to make, uh, to, to, uh, this is this is a way of her to uh, uh, make other people uh, feel sorry for her and in at first people uh, did not believe her her, her uh, brother and sister or her father at first people thought that they are trying to tarnish her and that is not how she is but everyone learned in in the uh, next few years that her uh, family members told exactly the truth because she uh, faked the conflict and she uh, uh, has decided uh, to uh, to do uh, some kind of uh, a show of a conflict with her father, with her uh, other members of the family. And I believe that it is all a part of uh, the way that Doria convinced her that this should, uh, this is the way that she should uh, act. So this is uh, Megan's past. So uh, what are the uh, outside forces that are, uh, uh, influencing this relationship and the card that I get is the Queen of Pentacles. So that is not uh, something that surprises me because the Queen of Pentacles, she's the shopkeeper. So she's the one who is very, uh, very stable uh, even in, fr in, in face of changes. And we got many cards of changes their relationship is in a major change. Megan comes from uh, the energy of death, which is major change. So their relationship is uh, going through major change and the outside, uh, outside influence is Megan's need to keep stability in front of changes. And this is also everything that is connected to property, to money, and uh, it is not uh, it's not surprising because we know that Megan probably paid Doria quite a lot of uh, money. So everything that is connected with money is also something that is. Uh, uh, connected to the Queen of Pent Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is also a person who is afraid of changes. And that's why she's a bitter person and very hard to trust. So, and she's very suspicious. And this is exactly the, uh, the energy that uh, Megan shows in her all, in all of her relationships. So this is the outside uh, outside uh, influences, the outside forces. Megan's need for stability in everything that is connected with money, everything that is connected with property. This is a, this, the need for a big house, and there were uh, also. Uh, 
um, rumors that Prince Harry didn't want this big house that they got and that she uh, she decided that they wanted this big house because she cannot live in a small house. And I have to remind you all that uh, Meghan wanted to live in Windsor Castle uh, because uh, Frogmore Cottage was not big enough for her. So everything that is connected with money, everything that is connected with uh, property is uh, influencing this relationship. So I would say that yes, uh, Doria did get paid for being uh, for acting as the good mother. She did got, got, uh, get that money and she did get that uh, um, uh, that um, company of uh, um, the senior citizens uh, retirement house. All of that was part of this. Uh, uh, this uh, strategy, this plan of Doria's to get as much as she can for as long as she can, but then their relationship is going through a major change. So she's still there, she's still uh, uh, around, but this relationship is going through a major change. So this is the tarot, and the oracle that I chose although they are big oracle cards, is a, a car, a, an oracle cards that, that are called Sacred Geometry of Relationships. So let's see what can we see around the relationship in this oracle deck. So first I'm going to sh shuffle it a little bit and take one card for Megan and one card for Doria. So let's clear the energies. Okay, so Megan's relationship with Doria, a card for Doria, Doria's side in this relationship, Doria's side in this relationship. As you can see, that's why I don't like using these big cards. So reflection so doria let's see what it says here the energy of reflection supports our growth through the insights we get from the contemplation of self and others so doria comes from this energy of reflection of seeing how she can gain as much as she wants. This is the energy of looking at uh, her own uh, growth uh, financially and not financially. This is looking at her, how she can gain from that relationship. This is what the reflection card is talking about. It is talking about contemplating herself and others, how she can get as much as she can from that relationship. Now let's see Megan's uh, energy. So first I'm clearing the cards once again. And Megan's uh, energy in her relationship with her mother, Megan's energy in her relationship with Doria. Okay, so so the card for Megan is duality. Why am I not surprised? So, the frequency of duality supports our ability to gracefully flow with the 
uh, everlasting movement among all opposites. But actually, this is, just shows that Megan's, uh, Megan's uh, uh, relationship with her mother is full of dualities. She, first of all, she needed her, and but she doesn't love her. She is uh, still holding a grudge because of the neglect that she suffered from her uh, during her childhood. She has dual uh, feelings towards her mother. She couldn't just cut her mother out of her life like she did with her father because she needed her mother to be in the wedding so that everyone will see her black roots. This was part of her using the race card and everything was planned in my opinion. And uh, But she's her relationship with her mother, her feelings towards her mother are dual. And she knows that her mother is full of thinking about her own gain and she's reflecting on how she can gain as much as she can from that relationship. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.